Now it is. All right. Got the dice. All right. <clears throat> Don't have dice. my dice tray because it sucks. Don't know why. Your uh, metal dice. I don't have oh, my uh, metal dice. My pixel dice yet. Maybe on my birthday. Who knows? Next month. <laughs> Your birthday is the next month. Ooh. Yep. Whoops. Okay. What did I do? So yeah, I don't know if uh, the, the... those those days those dice were were nice. Yeah, they are. But um, I think it's on. Is it on Kickstarter now? I'm not even sure. The the pixel I think so. pixel dice. Did you see them, yeah. uh, Max? Well, basically it's uh, same kind of dice, maybe a bit heavier. I think they're a bit heavier. But the thing is, when you roll, all the the all the, the numbers they numbers. light up. No, no, it's and fine. it's so nice because mm. if you roll no, I... a twenty, so it's one color of the. Roll a one is like red, and, and like I that's think they cool. want to integrate Wait, it, it with it, the D and D Beyond. So that's not the only thing that it, it's that it knows on which uh, phase it it ends, and you can connect yep. to Bluetooth with it and get the signal from it, and then you it's kind of open source, so you can use the signal for anything. Oh, so you could potentially connect it to D and D Beyond or like multiple other services you bring your dice you say i'm doing like uh attack roll you roll the dice and then it pops on your screen and add all the much modifier and all that stuff I, I that, that's, link the, to, uh... that's the interesting part of that dice it's not the lights the lights is just a the lights is so cute it's like the light that, is yeah. it's it's okay <laughs> it's like rolling it's... with the colors it's more that like it actually detects the right face on which it ends and you can connect in Bluetooth and get stats and all that stuff. You can even like try and see if your dice is well balanced because you can roll it multiple times and just roll like um, algorithm to check if it's statically correct. Mm. That's nice. Kind of cool. Am I the only one that lost Max? Uh, no, he's back. He's back. He, uh, I, I lost see... him, but he, he came back. Uh... Yeah, I started, I don't see uh, started the video and cut me off. You but... guys see him? Oh, wait. I'm back. He's back. You, don't see you guys me? hear him? Yeah, I do. I don't hear him. He left. Yeah, so that is the issue. I think it's going to be me that needs to leave. Mm. It happens sometimes. Like every time. Oh boy. Where'd you go? Are you inside yeah. your couch? The sound's not good. Nope. It came back. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah. So a good. music, music. <clears throat> we're we're in uh Yeah, that's fine. Alright. So I don't have anything written down, but um let's do it freehand this Open time. Yeah. Improvise. <laughs> so last we left off, you guys uh, were in the middle of the excitement for the town meeting with everyone uh, wondering what was going to happen and what was going to be discussed. Uh, the first thing on the menu was uh, the trial uh, for Aliana Thornton, which uh, she was found gu guilty by uh, the town of account of um, treason and sentenced to death. Uh, next matter was electing the sheriff, uh, which we, which you guys did by a trial by combat. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> which Fern was victorious, but um, of course, actually. he stepped down of the position. Uh, everyone surprised by the strength of both uh, both account. Um, and Sildar decided to take the position of uh, Sheriff of Fandalin. Um, and yeah, after that, you guys uh, went to bed, uh, knowing that in the morning, early morning, you were going to uh, train a soldier that volunteered as a new militia. Um, so that's what you did on the next day. Uh, you uh, took part into training, uh, sharing your specific skills in uh, in like military or range attack or close combat. Um, and yeah, you, you, it, it was expected to be not great, but uh, you guys uh, kind of felt that it could become something given enough time and, uh, and uh, be able to get a militia that can defend the town up and running. Uh, you visited also uh, Harbin in the town hall, uh, talked about uh, what to do with Alia Thornton, uh, decided on a, maybe a location, a time, still figuring out who is going to uh, carry out the sentence uh, and then you guys went back to uh, the inn to uh, sleep for the day and I'm pretty sure that's where we left off last time so you guys after uh, a long day an early day um, you went to bed early uh, you found sleep pretty easily uh, spent a good recovery night but it is again very early morning morning and you guys are waking up uh, what would you like to do I'm going to wake up go downstairs sit in a table and think about the life of this girl that I was just mad with her, but right now, I don't know what to think about. <laughs> and I'm just... So... Going to sit and take up one meal, I think, and think about it. <laughs> so, uh... Poblin comes to the table. Uh, oh, good morning, you're early today. You seem... <laughs> Uh, worried. Can I serve you something? Yeah, you can bring a lot of bacon, I think. And one beer. I think the morning today is for one beer. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I like, I like your style. I, I'll bring beer and a lot of bacon. Uh, should I bring for just you, or uh, should I bring more? Do you are you expecting your friends yeah. to come down soon, or just you for now? I think uh, bring uh, bring the the breakfast of everyone. I pay you. Uh, I yeah. I think this already pay. But yeah, yeah. You, you guys, yeah, you guys already covered it for uh, the next day, so it's fine. I'll, I'll get that uh, started for you. Thank and you, Dublin. And with the smell of bacon, Samat is gonna come down to have breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna sleep in as for fully recover. <laughs> I'm sleeping gonna like go me. down to get breakfast too. So you um, go down, you spot Tamara looking in the void, uh, looking. Um, uh, a bit worried, not worried, I, I can't find the word, but... Uh, Anxious? Lost in, a, in our mind, yeah. I think worried. In the moment, in the moment, Dolin bring the bacon, I just start to eat it, like, 
<laughs> eating my emotions. <laughs> Mindless eating. <laughs> Yeah. Just eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave some for others, would you? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You. You don't understand. Just eat your bacon. Let me eat this. Okay? So Matt is gonna put the yeah. copper so he can eat also. Ah, uh, copper. Take a bacon. <laughs> copper is just like Sit. picking. <laughs> oh, way, way more than he could actually eat, but he's just like picking it all up. Uh, uh, unless you guys are stopping him, but he's gonna take it all. How? Why you put copper in the table? Shoo! <laughs> and I put it down. And bacon. <laughs> um, uh, do you have any other questions? Yeah, I'm gonna come down. Also. All right. So, uh, Fern joined uh, the table. I slept Hi, like Fern. a brick. Woo. What Nothing about was... your night? I was great. Nothing's better than a night after a, a little skirmish like that. Mm, you always, yeah. You always sleep better. I would oh. just want to be clear that if I healed Zelda, it was just uh, because I know you don't want to be the sheriff of this town. So I was trying to just uh, keep it up the fight and maybe Zelda would be defeat you, but no, no, see that it's, didn't happen. It's fine. I mean, and just you... to be clear, it was two days ago. Oh yeah, because you guys uh, slept and uh, trained the guys. We, we but... made two days of training, uh, I think. Yeah. Well, the fight. You, you remember that? Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So no hard feelings for that. Okay. So um, we uh, so... we went to see Arben yesterday. You you were saying Cade. I was asking, what are we gonna do today? Do we train some more, or do we have plans? Well, uh, like I was saying, uh, last night we, we talked to Arben, and uh, he, 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 he doesn't know how to finish up the trial. <laughs> Uh, to conclude, conclude that I was looking for conclude, conclude the trial in a nice way. So he, he's not gonna swing the axe. So <laughs> <laughs> that is not is not well today. <laughs> oh my god, that was rough. <laughs> well, like I really feel bad. I was really mad with her because. It's like, for the first time we trust in someone, it was her, and then he betrayed us, and <laughs> we asked for this, that, that that's true, but I don't quite sure if she, if we can decide of, uh, if she live or die, so... If uh, man have some ideas for that. Well, I don't have precisely an idea for it, but um, I mean, she, she was sentenced to, to death, so death has to happen. That's, that's sentence. That's the end of it. So... We just need to find an executioner to carry out that sentence, so... You can do it with magic? Maybe? Maybe some... Well, uh, sure. I if you're death. referring to what happened with the necromancer... That, that's what? what you're referring to, right? But... 
with the but... necromancer, you you stab him, right? He stab him. Yeah. I did. Oh. But that's one. Um, how, how can I put it? That's one way to go that kind of hurts a lot more than others. I mean, you feel the necrotic energy crawl through your body and eat at your cells and you die slowly. It's it's gross. Okay, no. But maybe that's it, it, it's, it's a necromancer. <laughs> so he dies by like his own magic. So it's... No. 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 That option is not an option. <laughs> I don't want. Well, maybe, maybe she deserves it. But no, 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 no. No. Well, um, should be quick. Yeah, and uh, I could say that I can carry it out. It's nothing fun to do. I've done it before. But um, you've done it before. <laughs> When you're in the army and you have subordinates that uh, try to flee, you catch them back. That's what happens. Oh, Jesus Christ, I want to know your background. <laughs> History check. <laughs> well, for that, that's a that's a part I didn't know. So maybe we can discuss that later. But, but uh, yeah. I, I have ways to make it quick and not too painful. I'm gonna put it like that. I mean, you die, it's gonna be painful at some point, but at least Game of Thrones style. Quick, yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Okay. Okay. Well, if if that his destiny, well. I'm not really happy with that, but I, I think guess, it's a better option. I guess we're gonna have to talk to uh, Harbin about it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, after breakfast? Yep. I'm still eating my emotions. <laughs> yeah, we, I can see that. Right. So, you guys finish your breakfast? Um, breakfast. Are you. Sorry? I just said breakfast! breakfast um <laughs> so uh, you, you guys are make all making your way to uh the town hall the town master hall yep yep right yes so uh you get to the town master hall uh it's pretty early still in the morning you guys uh had planned to wake up early so it, it's maybe like uh, se uh 6 30 in the morning at this point <clears throat> Damn. Um, you knock on on the door. No responses. We're a pretty busy people. <laughs> we need to resolve this now. Okay. It's a bit hurly, huh? Yeah. Do we know where they live? So we can break <laughs> them out. Good idea. Let's 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 track them down. Well, I mean, you uh, you don't know where Harbin lives. Um, oh. You probably know where Sildar lives, but uh, you you know that Sildar is probably in the field uh, training the. The new recruits. Mm. I remember. Well, we can go t for a little while to train these guys and then we come back. Uh, we could go give some pointers and uh, then I, I guess and Sildor must know uh, around what time Harbin shows up since they were working together or just in the same building. And I'm going to dish some trucks to copper. <laughs> to... <laughs> Alright, so you guys make your way to, uh, to the, the farm. Ground. Yeah. Um, and the way there, like, uh, the, the, the town is starting to wake up and uh, get, like, 
uh, working and running. You meet some top town folks on the way. Um, you guys are like getting quite a bit of a reputation in the town now, so like people recognize you. Some of uh, some of them like uh, wave at you or like uh, come to say like tanks or other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you you make your uh, way to uh, the farm. Uh, m most of the new recruits are there. Uh, you feel like that maybe you've lost one or two. That uh, it was maybe a bit too harsh for them. Uh, Sildar is there. Uh, he's doing like the morning routine, uh, training some people with uh, to the sword. Uh, there's others practicing with bows and arrows. Um, yeah. Is it just me or the music is like cutting on and off? Or it's hey. just because when I speak it stops? Hey. It was cutting for me too. Yeah, no, it happens sometimes. Because the way I reroute it, Discord has to like have to tweak what the sensitivity on it, so it's just like, oh wait, I'm supposed to say something. That's why I, I moved it. Because it's not in the stream anymore, it's in your... It goes through uh, my oh. mic. Yeah, that's why like, it, every time I, I speak, it just stops. Because like... I think it's adjusting like I was talking on top of you or something. Yeah, probably. You might have a... How can I say? Priority when you speak. So... It happens. Well... So, uh... So... Sildar waves at you and you... You guys... He sees you arriving. Hey there! How's the how's the training going today? Uh, it's going great. We lost a few. I think Q didn't show up. Um, I know where they live. I don't know if we want to go and drag them here or if we just leave them be. Wow. Maybe not drag them, but. Uh... Maybe a little friendly, uh, friendly visit to maybe they just didn't wake up this morning or they just gave up. But otherwise, yeah. you're gonna know what happened, so at least it's gonna be that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can handle it. In the at the end of the day, I'll focus on these guys first. Um, but yeah, no, it's looking promi promis promis promising, promising. Um, they, they're picking up on what we're te teaching them. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take some time, at least a week or so, until uh, I can actually leave the town and be confident in their abilities. But, um, yeah. I mean, you guys are free to help. Uh, I'm sure there's still a lot that they can learn from you guys, but... Um, if you have other stuff more important that you need to worry about, I wouldn't like blame you guys for. Well, probably we're going to the uh, the castle. I always forget the name. Town hall. Uh, yeah, with the goblins and everything. No, that's actually a castle. Or it's a hideout, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Because, well, we... We... Could, could be believe that uh, these guys didn't have, a, right now, a, a leader. Maybe it could be another one. Maybe they're going to attack again. Well, probably we're going there. So... Her goes them. north. Oh, and he is going to lead us to there. 
And Mark. I'm going to teach him. Yeah, and I'm going to teach him some trucks today. <laughs> Come on, Copper. Uh, <laughs> and I bring it to the woods. Although we can we can stay here for a couple hours, but uh, do you know when Arben normally goes to the town hall? We have to talk to him about the the fate of uh, Helia. Yeah, Arben is a late raiser, riser. Uh, it's not the early kind. Usually come into the the hall at like I don't know eight eight thirty nine. Alright. We can stick well. here for uh, three or four hours, then we're gonna go see Harbin. Alright. So you guys spend uh, some more time uh, training the, the new recruits, uh, hurting a bunch of them, uh, sharing your knowledge, and pretty much like not destroying them in a few hours, but really tiring them and uh, draining them quite a bit. There's a lord. Tamara, mission. you want. Go on. Sorry? No, go on. Tamara, while they're training, are you helping or you, you, you took copper and you're just on the side yeah, under a tree? I and... took copper and I'm just teaching him, like, uh, how to. Uh, hound the little uh, bunnies and try to uh, get him to uh, like you train <laughs> a dog, but in a good way. So I'm trying to 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 just teach him how to uh, search uh, smells and uh, traces of paws in the ground and everything, just like that. Like trying the best way I can. With a goblin. Get on his two legs. And... <laughs> dead. Stick <laughs> around. Play um, dead. Play dead. <laughs> Make the uh... animal handling chicken. <laughs> it's not. Enough. I have animal handling, I think. Yeah, but he's not an animal. Yeah. <laughs> Make a. Uh... Make a survival check. Okay. Oh, please. With advantage? <laughs> no. oh, ouch. Oh, okay. Uh, 16? 16. Um, well, you, you spent like two hours. Uh, most of the time, like, uh, Copper seems to be distracted or maybe doesn't understand completely what you are uh, trying to like teach him. But like at the end, you're able like he's able to kind of understand what you you mean and like that you want him to like track something. Um, and he's able to like follow the track of a rabbit to a rabbit hole and. You consider that as a win. Yeah, take a bacon. <laughs> Good job, Cooper. Good job. <laughs> and like he puts it in his you catch a rabbit. <laughs> well oh. no, he didn't He found like a rabbit hole. He didn't actually like oh. catch it. Um, but yeah, he he still catched the bacon and put it in his pocket, which is already full of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Why you take a lot of bacon? I I know you never like going. Bacon. Yes, I know, but the next time you please don't go in the table. My bacon. Well, when you're training for going to the table, you're going to the table, but not now, okay? Because that happened. I'm gonna go feral at some point. Yeah. Copper wants a copper. The copper. I forget it. Take a copper. <laughs> hey. I remember. Right. So, um, you guys finish uh, what you are doing. 
So what's next? Go to the town hall, I think. Yep, we're gonna go see Harbin. Harbin. What? How you doing, Harbin? <laughs> While we walk, I I ask Caden, uh, like, why you are so quiet? Well, your leader already died. <laughs> I'm not quiet. I, I I speak all the time. Yeah, and I walk but... away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So you guys uh make your way to the uh, the town hall. Whoops. It's maybe like um. What? You saw a rat? No, no. I, uh... A rat? I destroyed the, the, the... Okay, I'm good. I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> it happens. Right. So you get to the, uh... The town hall. Um, it's me... It's roughly, like, maybe... Uh... Nine. Nine, nine. nine o'clock at this time. Nine. Nine. Um, so you make your way, you enter. Um, the door is unlocked. Harbin is there. He greets you guys. Hey. Greetings. Hey. How are you doing? Fine. Yeah, we're fine. You guys are early. Yeah, I think the the task of killing someone maybe is uh, something to you Hard have to, to wake up earlier yeah a little bit yeah that's why i am so full right now maybe i'll throw up but yeah he, he looks at it looks at you puzzled like what does it like this have to do with all of this. Just don't mind me. Just whatever. <laughs> All right. So, so um, where are you guys? What do you guys want? Well, have you? I was was I there? I wasn't there when they talked last night. I think I. Nope. Um. Well. Um. So I'll go into that. Well, um, as as we spoke last night, um, y you were not sure how to proceed with Hell yeah, but uh. Oh, right. Any we, updates? Well, um, it seems that we have someone in our group that has done that before. So. Oh. Um. How convenient. Amazing. So that's done deal then. Sure, I wouldn't say like it's a done deal. You still have like to set up a time, a date, and uh, like where you oh. want to do that. And... I'll take, I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. That is going to be public, like. Uh... Well, it, all the town is aware of it, so. It's gonna be announced uh, with a date, a time. We also need to contact her family. She made sure of that, and he looks at her. Um, I need to send some letters. Might need to wait a bit for a response, and uh, depending on it, they might need to travel here, so might take some time. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. We still have time. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. it's honorable of you to, to to let her have her last will. She deserves well, that at the very least. Yeah, I mean, that's my job. That's the process. You follow the law. 
So, do do we talk days or weeks? Um, it's probably at least a week. That's for sure. Especially if they are coming. Um, just getting the the word there and all that is gonna take some time. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So a lot more days of no sleep. <laughs> he looks at you. Puzzle. <laughs> well, <laughs> well uh, we're since it's actually gonna take a couple days. I say, we're not gonna wait here to have like a an appointment for it. We have other things to attend to, but we'll be back after and i think it's gonna take also a, at least a week or more who knows yeah that's why i said at least a week you guys are going to be gone for a week yeah you're gonna leave okay all right well Good i don't know. know i don't yeah. know if you remember but uh, glass staff was not the, the the leader of it all. It was just a, a pawn, a knight, a bishop. Something uh, like that. <laughs> one piece in a chess puzzle. Uh, I'm not aware of all the story be between you guys and Glassstaff. Ah, uh, okay. But if you're saying that there's more, and it's still a threat, then you guys are going to take care of it. Like, be my guest. Well, I'm going to say that there's more and we're going to take care of it and we're going to be your guest. So. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Actually, thank you. I just, I just wanted to make sure that I've repeated what you just said, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let you do your things. Because you are the mayor, right? Yeah. 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 We're, um... Uh, I don't think we're gonna stay here for very long, so... We're probably going to be gone today or early tomorrow. Before you even wake, wake up, so. You won't even notice we're gone. Um, because you are a little uh, sleepy guy. Uh, not sure why you're judging my sleeping <laughs> habits, but I'm not going to take any part in your scheduling, so you leave whenever you want. Okay. All right, good day. And, um... Was that Fern or was it... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Both at the same time. Tamara, Tamara you, you notice a uh, copper that, like, uh, ends one piece of bacon to Alia in the cell. He really do? Oh, I, I, I like, like, I just get near to Copper and to Liana. Liana called? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I say, <laughs> and I say to her, I'm really sorry, but that's the law. And. The next time, if there is a next time in another life, you maybe have time for take the good decisions. And I'm really, really sorry. Well, I didn't mean that this happened. She looks at you with kind of a, um, like, resolve look 
kind of sad, but at the same time, thankful for what you're saying. But she didn't, doesn't really say anything back. You wanna another bacon? <laughs> And she picks it. Thanks. I'm so sorry. We going to try that for you. Uh, this is going to be a little less painful. And maybe you have time to guide your loved ones. You have the chance for do that. Yeah. Um. Harbin. Harbin told me that I could. I, I already wrote the letter. Um, yeah, if I can get to see them one last time, it's 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 great. Okay. Just yeah, this is this is something that I didn't realize that was <laughs> so important in the moment I was a little bit emotional but uh, yeah maybe <sighs> maybe this is going to be another way for save your life but I don't think so so I hope do, do you believe in I don't know God or Kill some more. or that <laughs> I oh, he's have not witnessed in that conversation. the power. <laughs> I've witnessed the the power of God, so I believe they exist. I don't really put my faith in any of them. Okay, maybe make some prayer. Maybe he have the answer. Maybe I don't know some. Someone in there is listening, like the guy who he worship. Maybe he can listen to you. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I think. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's so much. I, I just need to think about what this really means and how I got into this mess. Okay. So, good luck. And I go. Alright. So, um... So the town is yours. What are you guys want want to do? Um, buy rations <laughs> because we're going to travel again. Wait, we're 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 going uh, to. Okay. Um. So, what do you guys think? You guys want to take the rest of the day to prepare, have a nice final meal before we head out, or? We just go after lunch because we still have like a couple hours before lunch, I think. While we hear owls. Wow. <laughs> no, they're uh, the soundtrack. They're coyotes and they're There's very a... dogs. Oh, what? sounded a lot like howls. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know the name of that. Well, I have some rations. Maybe I have to buy some rations, I think. And, uh, and that's it. We yeah. can go after lunch, I think. Rations. 
Although we can we can possibly just uh, stop by uh, Barton's on the way out to get our stuff. Yep. Uh, are we? No, we're going on foot. As I remember, the car cannot go. Why? Uh, I not? don't think they have horses either. Okay, so we're going to take on foot a travel that is two days already. Is it? It's gonna be a bit slower. No, two two days. What's to go to Conneberry? To Conneberry. Well, right now we're going somewhere into the forest. Oh, okay. We're going north. Yeah. North, north. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Like Copper keeps saying, we're we're going north. Um. So we just toss Copper to Copper, and we follow him. Copper. copper. Okay. I think yes. Uh, make sure, okay. you, make sure you don't toss the copper in front of copper, because he's just gonna go, pick it up. Then you're gonna have to keep, throw another one. He's just gonna follow the copper. So maybe give it to him so he can go. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That is the the plan. So he knows where where to go. He said north, north, north all the time. So I think I think he knows. <laughs> yeah. So in that case, we're going to say goodbye to Zelder. Sure. I think. We can let oh. him know. Okay. No. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Okay. <laughs> so, um... Do, do you guys want to just, like... Do you, do you guys want to go to Barton and uh, get the provision? Or... Uh, you're just telling me what you want to buy. Oh, we could okay. just tell you what to buy. In Barton, I want to buy, I think, 10 rations. In case you get uh, lost. 10 uh, exactly. rations I have something. each. Do you have access to uh, Semat's uh, character sheet? I think I do. I okay. don't know if I can modify it, though. Because uh, Semet has nine rations, so I okay. think he should be fine. He's not gonna buy any. <laughs> How many rations do I have? Ration. I have six left. So I'll buy. I'll buy ten as well. And uh... we'll go with that. I'll just get out, get out. my uh, sheet. Oh, well, technically, if I no oh, store price three, I have six rations, and it costs three gold pieces. So is it fifty silver? Three gold, no, three gold pieces for six. Yeah. Why can't I find it? Uh, I don't know, it's my... Uh, uh, it's in my equipment. That's why I'm saying that. We still have oh, robe. Okay. We still have my two-person tent. Okay, I found it. Four -person tent. No, it's, it's, uh... It's tree silver. Depending on what quality you guys want, it's either, uh... Five silver for one ration, or like something uh, okay. If you just want grain, it's like three uh, silver piece. If you want something more elaborate, it's uh, eight silver piece. I'll go with five. I'll go in with five too. So five silver, so, so 50 silver. Five, five silver. Five gold pieces. Yeah, five, five gold. And, uh... Yeah, we don't have to carry that much rations. Uh, I saw earlier that... 
what's his face? Copper can uh, hunt for rabbit. Or golden through rabbit. Okay. Wait, why rabbit? I don't know. There is a lot of rabbits in the woods, okay. I think. Because <laughs> I remember a certain character that brings back a rabbit to two hobbits. <laughs> was it a rabbit or was it a fish? It oh, was no, rabbit. it was a rabbit. The fish yeah. was in the lake. And he eat it like raw. a life. Yeah, raw. Raw. cannot cook raw, it. Raw, yeah. Cannot eat it raw. You have to cook it with taters. What's taters, precious? Potato. Sorry, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I watched that so many times. Um. So five, five silver. Anything else? Well, I took ten rations. You guys need? Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna carry your big ass tent? Uh, that needs a cart to carry. No, I'll I'll take the two person. Uh... Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, other than that, rope rations. Uh... Fine. Wait, longbow. I think we might need arrows with longbows, right? Which I don't have. Why I have a crowbar? <laughs> I don't. It's in the adventuring gear. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Can I trade some crossbow bolt for arrows? Trade? Um... Because I have crossbow bolts my inventory so that's why i'm saying can i trade uh or if not Cade, you got uh you have cro a crossbow yeah i have crossbow okay yeah it's the same it's the same price you would be able to trade uh okay you'd have to go probably um at the lion see shield See the yeah the lion shield or coaster. Uh, she pretty pretty much get give all her supply to uh, the Sildar Enterprise. So you you probably would have to go back to the field and uh, trade some uh, with the supply that they have. But it's easily done if you want to switch them. Okay. So I'll switch it up then. E uh that that would be all for me and Samad? Samad is fine <laughs> <laughs> i do hope so yes he, he has rations He's fine <laughs> he has rations and there's nothing else i can do with his character sheet so. he's fine <laughs> uh, maybe uh, one last meal at um, Goblins. Yeah. Before we go. And who Good knows? Idea. Maybe, maybe we can get a a little meal to go. Let's go check it out. Bless you. Alright, so it takes you maybe about like uh, an hour and a half, two hours to like go around town, uh, gather the supplies, uh, and you get back to uh, the inn at about maybe uh, 12 30, 1 p.m. Uh, you guys sit down for a meal before leaving for your adventure. Uh, so, what, like, to Toblins come to your table. Hey, how are you guys doing? You look uh, ready to go somewhere. We we are, actually. We're, um... Leaving so soon? Yeah, we have uh, other things to take care of that might be still a greater threat than Glassstaff was. Oh. 
Wow. Okay. That sounds terrifying. Um, hopefully the town will be a lot better than last time when you left. I think with Sildar in, in charge, it's, it should be uh, it should be a lot better, hopefully. Well, Sildar is a good guy, and he's going to travel too, so... Yeah, but the trainees are, uh, are making good progress. Oh, they are? Yeah. That's amazing to know. I mean, they... Do you they, guys help? They're, they're better than they were when they started, so it's progress. Yeah, of course, it is. Can't wait to see that progress. Well, uh, okay, what can I get you guys? Um, uh, one last great meal before we head out. And uh, maybe a favor if you have, I don't know, something to go like sandwiches or that would be great for tonight. Uh, yeah, I can uh, make you go. some. What? We'll take a toblin to go. A toblin <laughs> to go. <laughs> That's actually a really good name. I should. I should make that happen. I should call it the Toblin to go. It's a really good idea. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll think to you something when, while you guys eat. Um, well, I mean, are you guys uh, traveling on foot or you guys are going to have a card? Because I could give you a, a barrel of beer. Ooh. Well, um... How heavy is a barrel of beer? Because I know that some of us can carry pretty, pretty heavy stuff, though. So. How much oh. is it? <laughs> it's, it's not that it's heavy, it's just unpractical to carry. Well, because I agree with that uh, beer. <laughs> I think we're going to need it. Okay, and which one of us is gonna carry it? Four. Oh, Kate. Kate. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> okay. Kate, a barrel. And Dublin's look at you. Um, the barrel is big. I, I, <laughs> almost. From what I can tell, a barrel is about seventy pound. I've looked inventory, and a barrel is seventy pound. See if I. But it's an empty barrel, I suppose? No, I don't think so. But yeah. Um, Alright, so I'll, I'll bring you your food and uh, prepare you guys something. Uh, let me know if you figure something for carrying a bit uh, of my delicious beer with you guys. Um, I'll be back. And he, he goes back to the kitchen, uh, prepare you a... a Meal of Champion. He brings back the food. There's like pate and uh, shepherd's pie and like vegetables, salads. It's a. Uh, it's bento. what? <laughs> yeah. It... <laughs> it's the royal meal. Yeah. So you so guys cool. eat. Hmm. Um, how, how, how heavy is a barrel of beer? Because I'm still... Well, I mean, it, it's more that, like, we, we don't really play that much with the encumbrance. I would just say for the sake of it, uh, you guys don't have, like, a pack that you can put a barrel in. So you would have to actually carry it, like, in your hands or something. But I don't have a pack? We have, I mean, you don't have. I have a water skin. You don't have. We go oh, into yeah, the field. Guys... No, our water skins pack. with that. Okay. What I mean is that uh, 
and that's what Toblin meant also. But if you figure out a way to carry beer, you you can like put it in some other container that is smaller. But uh, if you guys want to carry a whole barrel, uh, you're gonna have to find a way or uh, just is it a like, barrel carry or it on your it's back. a keg? Uh, because a barrel I, I, is huge. Keg is more like it. Yeah, I I know. I, I guess you could. Uh, yeah, I, I guess Toblin would have both. Um, you'd probably figure out something that is a bit smaller. Well, we can take the smaller one. Take it. Well, one thing I could try to strap it between my two tents. <laughs> so it's like a three rolls and then there's a keg and so it's not I agree. like on my back. <laughs> At least it has like a little cushion between the two. I agree with that. If you can do it, do it. <laughs> can I do it? We'll see. We'll you see. You can definitely try. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... So yeah, uh, Toblin, we're gonna take a keg, maybe not a barrel, but a keg, a keg to go, and uh, let us know how much we owe you for tonight's meal, which was glorious. Oh, that that's that's so great to hear. Uh, I put a lot of uh, effort in it, um, so I was able to pack you guys uh, uh, the essential. I don't think it's gonna make sense to like pack a lot of fruits or vegetable. I just went with like a lot of meat, uh, cured meat and uh, grains that is easy to like eat up in water and stuff like that. But overall, you should be able to get a great meal tonight with uh, all that stuff. Um, Wonderful. And for. Uh, let me try to estimate. Can never like figure out this table. Oh, right there. Um. So, um, it would be one, uh, one gold piece each for the meal and, uh, The beer, spice, fruit. Hey, coffee is five copper. Ooh. But we only have one copper. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. The pumps. Not sorry at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I find the beer? Why isn't it? it with all the rest of the stuff. Um, let's just say it is um, Let's say it's like two copper, uh, two gold piece for the keg, and uh, it contains uh, roughly 20 beers. So it's one gold for the meal. For each one? 
for uh, everyone in the table. No, uh, well, it's uh, the keg itself. Okay. How much is a keg? Three gold piece. So I pay for the cake. The here. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. So, uh, it's midday. You guys are full of good food. Uh, you have your uh, stuff ready. You are packing up. Uh, Fern. I'll ask you to do. Um, no, but, uh, yeah, okay. Athletics check. Oh, <laughs> nice. To see if you can uh, what strap is your bow you on your pack. Uh, athletic is uh, 10. That's just what you needed. So you've. Like, you guys are all ready uh, to go, and you are all waiting for Fern, and you look at him just like, it's pain, like, it's painful to watch him just trying to figure out, like, how to tie a nut uh, and, and, like, put ropes and, like, just make something Why? that is gonna Don't hold for fit? some time. <clears throat> But he gets it, like, he gets, barely gets it, like, kind of holding on. Um, you don't know how long it's gonna last, but for now, it's working. Like a charm. Okay, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to put myself <laughs> behind him. So, if I see uh, if the beer is going to fall, I just going to grab it. Nah, it's fine. Look, I'll wiggle it. <laughs> and it's not safe. <laughs> it's, it's not. See, still there. It's gonna be fine. Anyway, it, the barrel. I'm going is... to stay here just, just for checking. Uh, yeah. the, the barrel is gonna be gone tonight. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. On the road! He's already, like, Samat is already pouring Pour water one. <laughs> <laughs> behind you. <laughs> Wait. Why, why is it lighter? That thing's not gonna last. What? Nope. <laughs> why is Where my back you? lighter? <laughs> right. I can't feel a barrel anymore. <laughs> look, 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 look. Getting lighter and lighter. <laughs> I right. mean, Samat could so... literally be. Right behind me, the barrel pouring. Ah, <laughs> straight in his mouth. <laughs> it would actually work. <laughs> Let and, us and Copper it. just trying to catch whatever is uh, uh, going like on the side. Mm. All right. So, um, Copper, we go north. And Sema's going to give him a Copper. Right. Um, yeah, so you guys begin your journey giving a copper to copper and uh let him letting him kind of go free um and he starts walk, walking on uh on the path so you guys just uh uh, follow along and uh... I know yeah, we don't have start. horses but <laughs> <That's>... nice music <laughs> yeah. it's a right. copper's feet on the wet floor wet ground <laughs> why he sounds like a horse I train it well. <laughs> so, what's the marching order? Are you guys in in order, or you are just like 
all one next to each other. I'm going behind four. <laughs> and I was gonna suggest that you be with Gopper in front because you trained him to track. So, so Semat, put an eye of that. Put put an eye on that beer, and I'm going in I'll front. Keep, I'll keep both eyes on it and uh, mm. partly my mouth too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna be last. Yeah, I'm there. Mm, uh, yep. Um, okay. So, who's keeping watch? Me, I think? I think it's copper. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, I'll... Uh... Wait, what's the marching order? Is it Copper, Tamara, me, Semat, and Kaden? We are Kaden. Ru roughly, it's still like it, it's a road, so you guys can uh, like, be more grouped. It, it doesn't have to be just a line, uh, but roughly Kay. that's the marching order. I'm uh, I'm gonna keep watch. Be being firm, sorry, sometimes it's a bit blurry the line between firm and firm. <laughs> wait, wait, I'll, All right. I'll, uh, I'll keep watch on the barrel. Make sure the cat. Yeah, the you do. So, do you want me to uh, roll? Uh, Alright, so. Yep. Fern and uh, Tamara, if you want. Perception? Yep. Uh, 15. No, uh... 13. 16. 15. 16. Alright. So... You guys, um... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, and it starts to... Angel. <laughs> Angels. Starts to glow. <laughs> Alright, so you guys um, are walking. Uh, Fern and Tamara, you're keeping your watch. Uh, by this time, you guys kind of know this road uh, a lot more. Uh, you've been on it by three or four times now. Um, you know what to look for, you know where uh, you guys are going, even though Copper is kind of uh, leading the way, um, but you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. You guys are uh, able to walk uh, pretty much until sundown. Um, you, you you have the feeling that you're making good progress. Um, you're still keeping on the path at this time, um, but. Uh, yeah, from your estimate, you should be getting close to, uh, like, probably needing to get off the path at some point. So, yeah, it, it, it's almost nighttime at this point, and uh, you, you've you reached the... How many lights do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Someone have to ask. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, uh, so the, the night is falling and you guys kind of reach the forest by that time. So, uh, I think you guys have, uh, roll 20. Yep. So you guys would be like, maybe like around here. Okay. Like you, you feel like that probably uh, it would be a good point to start getting off the path because it's like 
I'm not really going north anymore. Hmm. But would Copper lead Spring us north. off the path, or...? Sorry? Is Copper leading us off the path, or is he still following the path? Um, he's still following the path, but, uh... But, like, it, it's, it's getting dark, so... Maybe uh, hard, we should uh, hard to tell. find a place uh, to, to rest for the, the night. Okay, we can do it here. We we are near to the to the trees right now, or uh... yeah, yeah. So you guys can, can see the trees uh, at that point. So I. I suppose uh, we have to enter to the woods, so we can just uh, sleep here, and then tomorrow, with the sun, we can enter. Yeah, uh, copper. Which which way do we have to go now? Do we keep going with the path, or are we go in the forest? We go north. Can you point in that direction? And he, he points, like, in the forest. Okay. And according to the sun, has it set yet? Uh, well, yeah, at this point it would have. Oh. But mo where, where it is set technically, it's west. So where is it where he points? Does he point technically towards north ish? Make a survival check. Yeah. Eighteen. Um you were paying attention, like uh you don't have full confidence in, in copper, so like you were kind of uh keeping track of the sun and you're able to estimate that uh, with where the sun went down and where you guys are going is roughly pointing toward north. Okay. Okay. So you guys uh, are setting I've... up camp. And start to do in the fire and everything. Yep. All right. So you put the tents down, camera. Uh, it's quite easy to go and gather some wood, uh, start a fire. Um, Copper is eating some pocket bacon. Uh, you get uh, the amazing uh, on the go Toblin. Toblin on the go. With, what Toblin, did you call it? Toblin to go. Toblin to go. <laughs> and, uh, How you... is it? How's Toblin to go? It's really good. It, it's at, it's roughly a to go that there is some preparation because uh, it's meant to be like easy to carry. Uh, but the after putting uh, this the little bit of time that you need to prepare it. It's really good. Mm -mm. And you guys are uh, topping that with a good beer. It is warm-ish. So it's not uh, it's not as good as it could be. But uh, still, it's beer. And it's good. And after a day of walking, it's a godsend. Yay! Is there beer I... left in the keg? After you, after your meal and all that? Yeah. You tell me. If Sema didn't uh, drink everything. Mm, you said about twenty beers. Yes. We walked all afternoon. If we take one or two beer each. And brings us like to yeah. no no there should be some left it's like more glasses 
It's more like glasses than like full mug. Oh. Yeah. I take the I beer. Know. I think there should be there should be some left uh, for lunch tomorrow. Well, if for breakfast, if your Tamara. <laughs> yeah, for breakfast. Well, there's there should be one glass left for everybody in it. Yeah. We can take it for breakfast, I... right? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I'm still eating my feelings. <laughs> So, who wants to take uh, first watch? Uh, I'm going to take the first watch. Uh, just, just to say, you guys, that the forest is my like. I am particularly familiar with the forest, so I have some advantage. Uh, in fine. Uh, Fine, uh, like on that, uh, on that. Well, some creatures that I have listed, so I can use it when we enter to the forest. Fine creature. This is what you said. Yeah, it's like uh, calls prim okay pri prim primeval awareness. Like as an action, you can spend one rain ranger spell. Two cents whether any aberration, celestial dragon, elemental, fi, fin, fiend, 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 I don't know what it is, or undead fiend, fiend are present it. with one mile of you or within up six miles if you are in your favorite terrain. And this is my favorite terrain. So you got a spider sense when yes. you're in the forest. Yeah, this feature doesn't reveal the creature's location or number. But uh, I can How's send it. A... Primeval awareness. Yeah. I'm going to send to you that. Primeval, that's right. Sorry for the pronunciation. Preparation. No, it's fine. Huh. Uh, that my, sounds so good. My primeval awareness tells me there are wolves in this forest. <laughs> That's at least Where one wolf. I thought you sent a link. No. And uh, no, oh, the link. I'm so sorry. I'm no, going right, to right. send you the link. Wow. Find the oh, term, Mr. DM. What? There, it's on the thing. Tavern chat. And I have some features, too. Finally, I can do something. <laughs> like, if I... If I am in my favorite terrain, I have proficiency bonus is my pr proficiency bonus is double for proficient skills when you make an intelligence or wisdom check related to it. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. It's nice. <laughs> While traveling for an hour or more in your chosen terrain, difficult terrain doesn't slow you group travel. So, it's for everyone, guys. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> now I see the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> of a ranger. Yeah. Alright. Um, so... Who's keeping watch? Who's doing the first watch? Tomorrow. Me. Yeah. I... Make a perception oh. check. Yeah. So you have a. Uh... Do you have advantage? You just said that. Yes, I have already 21, 
if I have advantage because he's it said like uh, I can't double it. <laughs> so and the just the proficiency in that? Uh yeah, twenty five. So in that case nice. my perception is uh eight plus eight. So yeah, twenty five. Nice. So, so for you it's great, like coming back to uh, to the forest after uh, the the time spent with in the city with like everyone around you and everything that was happening, uh, like coming back to the calm of the forest with the, your small fire and just looking around, like you're. You're in your element and you, you feel it and like it feels good to be back. And then uh, you like you, you're you feel like you're seeing everything and uh, there's no threat. But like you see howls, you see like small uh, um, rats and other uh, animals going Otters. around. Um, But yeah, uh, like other than that, nothing really uh, happens or uh, no issues during your watch. Okay. So I'm going to wake up. I don't know, Caden? Me? For the next watch? Yeah. Kate? Yeah. Kate. <laughs> Kate. I'm waking up. Okay. It's, a, it's your turn. And I'm going to sit and meditate because I didn't realize that. <laughs> I don't need to sleep. So you need to uh, meditate all on, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think just four hours for have a long rest. Yeah. Good. So I'm, I'm going, going to, to take check. watch right. in the dark. Yep. There's a small fire, but most of it is uh, darkness. So darkness. you can make... Yeah. Now you put more wood in the fire. You can, but it won't yeah. help. Oh. So you can make a... Um, a perception check with disadvantage. Nope. Perception. You should have woke me up too. <laughs> too late. Too We're late. Fun. It's a friendly reminder. You don't have that vision. No, but if I help him, oh, it, nope. it gets a straight roll. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> I should wake up both. Too late. <laughs> I got eight. Eight. Yeah. All right. Um, I got one, but I can reroll, so that's awesome. The magic. <laughs> Good. Um, so you, <laughs> it's dark, um, but you, uh, you're keeping a, an ear out, like trying to listen to anything, um, and like there is a lot of sound. They, that comes with the forest um, but you don't really like hear or see anything uh, during your whole watch and uh, it does finish like without issue yay no tissue I'm no gonna tissue. go wake up Samat huh? Mm. Wake up, 
It's your turn to take what? You sure it's my turn? Mm, yes. Nah. Fine. I'm and gonna I go wake back up to and, sleep. Uh, take watch. With his... Dark vision? Yeah, dark vision. Wait, I made uh, a perception check. Perception? Whoa, he's so perceptive. It's amazing. 18. 18. 18. Um, so yeah, you uh, feel pretty confident that you, uh, like, you're just straight up looking at uh, the forest and uh, watching very carefully for anything coming your way uh, but nothing like gets your attention nothing is uh, coming toward you guys and with that like the the sun start to come up and you guys come to consciousness you have successfully completed your long rest and the day is yours some beer and we go <laughs> <laughs> uh, i slept well i'm gonna go okay take uh, Quick drink and be right back. Yep. Same. Right. Okay. The day is yours. Copper. Go, Copper, go. Copper. You just point the forest and say to go. And we start to follow. So you guys um, enter what? After breakfast. You guys have your breakfast, take down your tents, uh, like gather your things and step into the forest um you walk and like currently copper is leading you guys uh so you guys are following uh in the forest behind copper um quite some time maybe uh an hour now um Oh, have someone make a perception check. Oh, actually. Hey, uh, survival check. Oh, just a roll check? And that's it? Uh, the... yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to the... 13. So, Tamara, after maybe uh, an hour and a half going copper, uh, you notice that you, you, you notice some tracks on the ground. Okay, is uh, from and an animal? Or a... Uh, With, with your roll, you gather that uh, it is fresh and mostly human. Human fresh? Humanoid? Maybe a halfling. A halfling? A dwarf. Did it... 
<laughs> God. And Goliath? I mean, probably my foot has like a... <laughs> I, I'm guessing it's like big. Yeah, you pretty much gather that you guys are like going in circle. Really? Uh, okay, so you say north. Copper keeps telling to say north. And I have. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I right need now. to read this feature. We're an hour into the forest, and we're lost. Well, wait a minute. Yep. Because uh, this it, it said your group cannot become lost except by magical means. You remain alert to danger even when you are engaged in another activity. You can move stealthy at a normal p pace while alone and you find twice as much food while foraging wow that <laughs> not that and yeah so if we are lost it's or you guys are not some... lost so not we... lost. Like, <laughs> if you want to get out of the forest you can just follow your track back like and you know how like to get out it's just that uh you don't seem to be getting anywhere you anywhere okay Okay. And okay, actually, like, so... uh, Semat, if you can make an inside check. Oh. So, Copper doesn't really know where we are. Okay. Or where to go. <laughs> For it's a magic forest. Woo! <laughs> what is, is... That would insight. be nice. <laughs> Damn, he's insightful, too? <laughs> Damn. Uh, 18. You're you're discovering what wisdom means. Uh, I think it's profession, probably. But wi wisdom is the base at for perception and insight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he has plus five. Wow. High wisdom. He has high wisdom. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he has like proficiency, probably in it. Right. Uh. So how the how did you roll? Eighteen. Yep. It's weird, like your voice is going down every time you're talking. Eighteen. B. Um, Eighteen. Bingo. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you pretty much gather that uh, copper don't really know where to go. Just have a rough idea. Oh, you copper! So really disappoint me. Do you know? Do you know where to go, uh, copper? Ah, uh, yeah. We go north. Other, can... other goblins, north. Because you might not know, but. Those are our tracks, so we came back into the same path that we used earlier. So what is north? He points, like... Well, I know where is north. At that, at that point, like, you, you know where it's north, but he's not pointing north. Like, he, he, he's completely lost. Um, okay, Cooper, just... just goes... Other goblin. The goblin knows. Okay. So, you know, Copper, just take a break and I put it, <laughs> Copper in the back of a uh, Semat. And we're going north, guys, <laughs> I think. Alright, Tamar, lead the way. I mean, cannot be worse than what we're actually doing now, so. Yeah, exactly. And I think. Uh, I'm not going to be lost here. So, we kept with us a goblin, and he doesn't know. <laughs> where totally to useless, yeah. That was worth it. <laughs> we feed him, we did a lot of things for him. <laughs> yeah.
Well, so I lead the path, I think. <laughs> um, so I think we're gonna do it as a skill challenge for uh, if you guys can get to it. So uh, okay. maybe three successes. Okay. Okay. Um, so Tamara, you're leading the way. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, uh, I'm going to use my skills, <laughs> my ranger skills, and I'm going to use uh, uh, have the 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 sense where is north, the the, the accurate way where is north and I'm going to just uh, lead the path to that and w while we are walking I'm trying to search uh, if this if there is some traces of goblins or something alive that isn't something dangerous for us things like that All right uh, make a survival check Yes. And I have double for that, I think. Yeah. Yes. So. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, 11. That's my best. I'll try. Um, so, y you guys walk for uh, a bit. Like, um, maybe an hour still uh, following Tamara. Tamara, you're like, looking everywhere. Uh, you you no notice like tracks of bears and, uh, and like rabbits and other small animals, but you can't find anything like that could lead you to uh, the castle. And uh, at this point, like, you're pretty sure you're going north, but it's been an hour and you guys are still, like, you still don't have a clue if you're going in the right direction. Hmm. So maybe it could be that it's not north. <sighs> um, So that's uh, not not a success. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shit. So as uh, since I have the map, I'm gonna put it out, and um, I want to see if I can remember any kind of. Uh, Wait, just to remember, it was a hideout, or it was a castle, for real. It is a castle. It's a castle. So, do I remember any place that I know that in the Neverwinter Wood would have a castle? Make a history check. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yar. Yeah. Yar. Are. Oh my god. Yeah. Please. Okay. Am I good in history? Nope, not at all. It's in space. What did I do in space? Okay. Um, nine. <laughs> nine. Uh, nine. You. you like, you recall. Uh, that there are like rumors of hide hideouts and stuff like that uh, used by thieves and other um, tribe of mean creatures but um, like from that information extrapolating like the position uh, on it on the map you're not quite sure. 
Mm. But if there is a castle, well, I suppose it's high, like a big structure. <laughs> we can, uh, I don't know, climb a tree and see if we see the castle. Absolutely, yeah, you can absolutely try. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try to climb a tree and see if I see something. <laughs> right. Make a perception check. Okay, perception. Oh crap! And seventeen. Nice. Um, so you uh, you climb up the three. And look around, and uh, every now and you. Then. Sorry. You said look around. Every now and then I get a little <laughs> look around. And you, you spot a column on of smoke in the distance. Is it on water? Like in the forest. In what direction? In water. Like it's north? <laughs> roughly like roughly northwest. Hey guys! I see something northwest. I, I just try to memorize the the, the, the the place and I lead them to that to that point. And what did you see? I see smoke, so I think something is alive there, so the thing I recommend is maybe go and uh, see if uh, if I don't know maybe it could be goblins could be something else so we can just be really careful when we're going to approach to that yeah. but I think it's our best chance sure either that or we keep wandering into the forest yeah lead the way I'm following you I lead them so um so we have one success yes. right so what uh right unless someone else have another idea uh Tamara you would have to do like um I just do a, a straight intelligence to straight see if you can uh, like keep the direction in mind and go down and like follow it through the and, forest. And whoa, whoa, whoa! Simat is gonna give you guidance. Yeah, what mm. is that? Uh, you add a d4 to <laughs> d4. your roll. On d4, yeah. okay. Go ahead then. <laughs> So I doubled my check for intelligence, so two. Do you? And yes, because I have natural explorer. <laughs> so nine eleven. Ah, Thirteen. Did you add the D4? <laughs> With the D4. Wow. <laughs> so, Sorry. Um... So you guys are making like your way. There's no path. the The forest is like dense, and you meet. You need to like kind of make your own path. And at the same time, Tamara needs to kind of like remember the general direction that she's going. And uh, you guys reach where um, you you see a small. Like band of goblin around the fire. Stealth mode. I'm really a stealthy at the moment. All right. So what are you guys doing? How many goblins we see? Um, I would say like four. Four. They are. Talking or uh, doing it's something like, over, like a piece of meat, like goblin do. Hmm. 
Is okay. it only goblins or we see any other goblinoids? Uh, it's only goblins. Okay. So one is big goblin here. Mm. Think it's yeah. a map? Copper. <laughs> Copper. It's a map? Nope. Common and dwarfish. I don't know. No? Because. I'm going to try to listen if uh, I don't know if I can listen something quite nice. I don't know if I understand something. If uh, they say where is the castle. Make an inside check. Okay. Inside. Tier team. Oh, but uh, uh, that's wisdom. Oh wait. Uh, sixteen. Uh, you like you can't understand the language. So the only thing that you you can pick up is more like their body language or like what they're doing and like you get that they are fighting over something and that they seem to be kind of camping uh, for now uh, maybe just for uh, like lunch but okay. you can't really make out any useful information from trying to listen to to them. So guys, now what? And uh, I'm gonna take out my crossbow and look at the other. <laughs> take out longbow. <laughs> and Samat is gonna repair uh, the, what does he have? Sacred flame. Yeah. All right. What's the what's the plan here? You you guys are uh, taking out your weapons for. Okay, start to take in my longbow too. No, but I, I think I, I'm trying to make sign that we all like shoot one individually, so they. They all get shot at the same time. Okay, but it's four. And we're four. four. We have uh, four. Yeah, ah, same at. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So, so you guys are all taking a shot at the same time? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Roll for... <laughs> um, I'm going to see uh, if I have Sacred something Sacred Flame weird. is a deck save of 13. Alright, what? Okay, cool. I so, hit, I hit the Longbow. Weapons. Come on, Longbow. Shit. A wow. 14? Yeah. Uh, it, the one Samat is hitting uh, fails. Oh, wait, so I have to so roll. we can roll the damage. 1d8. 3, 2, roll for hit or? What if it hits? Uh, for me, no, because I rolled a natural 1. So it's uh, 5 points of radiant damage. Right. I rolled a three. I got a natural twenty. <gasps> twenty. You rolled a twenty. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Tamara and uh, Fern miss, and Kid is just very precise. One shutting one. Eight. Does I hit? Eight. 
Yeah, in total. Uh, no. No? Oh, okay. Okay. What a surprise. <laughs> you said six or five uh, hit point for the one. Five. Okay. Gabe? Pretty sure you kill it. Uh, maybe. Are we stealthy? Well, uh, yeah. And you double the damage. You have to roll twice and take the bigger and double it. At five two. Yep. Okay. Uh, I do thirteen. All right. So you see. So you guys uh, just. Like, let loose all your attack at the same time. One burst in flame, the other one just, like, gets uh, an arrow, like, in the head and just falls to the ground. And both of you guys just shoot an arrow that, like, just goes wide. And there's uh, one one goblin that is, um, uh, like, in pain and two other goblins that are just, like, Completely surprised and uh, like flabbergasted by what just happened. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Yay! I don't think we're gonna get a map out for this one. Um, My God, what is that? I'm just going to get close the near one and kill it. That totally blows. Uh, I have to roll yeah. for some too. Uh, so, uh, kid, what did you roll? Eight. What? Eight? Eight. Tamara? Eleven. Fern? Uh, Fern has a five. All right. And Simat as a natural 20, Ooh. which brings him to 19. Ooh. Yeah, he has minus uh, one. You have a minus one in initiative? Oh, nice. That is so well, nice. He's low on mm. dex. I mean, he's so a cleric. <laughs> Who needs dexterity when you're a cleric? <laughs> so, um, Simat goes first. Yeah! What did I do? What do I do? Wait, I don't. Wait, whoops! I closed this character sheet. Dang it! That's no good. Uh, Simat is gonna do. Uh, thinking the same basically. Or or. On the same goblin. Or. Huh. Oh boy. Yeah, no, he's going to do a guiding bolt on one of the fresh goblins. Is an attack roll? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Go for it. 18 plus 5, 23. It it's a 4d6. Oh, it was at level 1, but... 4d6. Oosh. This guiding ball? So that makes 6. And. Whoop. Oh, that works. 8. Uh, 9 points of damage. And next attack on that as. Advantage? Yep. Next well, attack he's as dead. Advantage. Oh, damn. So. Oh. <laughs> the the ball just like goes through him and there's just a, a hole in his chest and he falls to the ground. Really? Next is Okay. Yeah. Okay. Goblins don't have a lot of HP. Sorry, I'm used by I'm probably used to uh hobgoblin and uh, bugbear. So yeah. <laughs> 
Um, Proceed. It's been a long time since you guys fought, fought goblins, and uh, it didn't go well for it. What's that? Why are your ends like yellow ish? <laughs> this, this is the field. Are these, these two? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It is the filter, I think. Oh no. You, it might be the, the, the peanuts. Che Cheetos? Oh, okay. No, I had peanuts earlier. But barbecue peanuts. Oh. Alright. So, uh, next up is the, the goblin. So, the one that just burst into flame and saw uh, his uh, friend being killed by Semap. He's gonna jump on him and try to hit him with his scimitar. Which is a 12 to hit. And misses! Alright, so uh, he jumps on Samat, tries to hit. Uh, Samat like, blocks it with his shield or hammer. Does he have a shield? He, he has, has a, shield. a shield, yeah. And uh, the other goblin is gonna uh, like rush him and do the same. And it is uh, Evan to hit, which misses. Still misses. Like, so Semat with his like strong uh, constitution just like stand down and blocks everything with his shield. The two frail goblin is not able to actually do anything. Uh, so next up is Tamara. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I have something in my equipment. I have a, a manacle. How do you call that? Uh, manacles. 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 So I'm going to jump in the not in the burn one, the other one. And I'm going okay. to jump. The one that is full health. Yeah, in him. I'm going to jump on on him, and I'm going to try to put the manacle. So. We have someone to interrogate. <laughs> we can. No, 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 no. Make an athletic, <laughs> athletic check, and it's going to be contested okay. against the goblin. Okay, athletic. You have, you have to uh, beat two. That's your DC. Twenty. It's not natural twenty, but it's a twenty in total. So without issue, you're just like, you uh, put all your weight on the goblin, like put him down to the ground and just like gather both arms with one hand and just like clop, clop, put the manacle on him and just hold him by the manacle. And like he's fiercely like moving and trying to get away, but uh, it's no use. You're too strong for him. Okay, I'm going to stay with him, trying to just not to move. And I just said that if this doesn't talk, I'm going to kill them after. <laughs> I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to ask the questions, and if he doesn't respond, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, <laughs> that's my right. turn. So, um, Kate, yeah, yay. Uh, can I hide? Uh, yeah, you can try. Yay. Twenty-two. You feel pretty hidden. Yeah. Uh, the shadow. I'm gonna shoot uh, my my crossbow at the the ones that left. Go for it. That's 16. That hits. Thirteen. So you just like you everything is happening very quick and uh you just see Kate vanish from the corner of your eye and then it just comes out of the forest 
shoot the goblin and the goblin just like falls down and he's dead. Poor goblins. <laughs> okay, so where is the castle? Psh, psh. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I want to punch. Uh, that's a problem. Oh wait, wait. We have um, we have somebody that speaks like that, and he's gonna unpack. Um, <laughs> copper. So, so uh, copper. Copper. What, what? What is he saying? And he, um, so man's gonna toss a copper. Two copper. Oh. <laughs> And he's, like, he's gonna uh, go to the other goblin. And at that point, it's just like two monsters talking. It's just like, rah, 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 rah. Lots of, lots of <laughs> it just like, doesn't make any sense. And it's, it's almost comical at that point. Um, and like, Copper is not usually um, uh, like menacing. But like he, he's like slapping the other <laughs> goblin and like using uh, the the position of power to just like uh, blow out some steam. But um, uh, uh, they he, he turns around and he says, uh, "Ah, copper nose, goblin, other goblin, show show the path." And um, he's just gonna uh, like kick the other goblin for him to uh, start walking, and he starts to walk uh, in a like in a direction in the forest. Wait, <clears throat> that, does good, that mean good, we good. have two goblins now? But uh, but the other one can die in any moment. <laughs> That's what you said of copper. Yeah. Oh, but mm. copper is. Don't don't give a name different. to the other one. Okay? okay. Don't don't get attached. Okay. Uh, what 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 time in the day are we? Um, it would be half day at this point. Okay. These guys were kind of uh. Breaking lunch, uh, like cooking some meat that they hunted on a small fire, and uh, yeah, it would be about midday. Okay. Okay. Think so we're you guys going are following? Follow. Yeah, we're we're yep. following uh, Copper and unnamed yep. Goblin. Get attached so we to call him. him no name. We don't call him. We kick him. <laughs> right. So you guys uh, start following the two goblins. Uh, Tamara is still holding uh, no name, so that he, he's not <laughs> gonna uh, flee, but still be able to like show the path. Um, and what's, uh, so in about like maybe another hour, uh, Copper is, uh, is just gonna like turn around. Near. We near. Okay. Um... Um, so Matt, uh, why don't you take, um, copper behind a tree there? So Matt will yeah. take him behind the tree. Um, uh, we... I think now is the time to, uh, dispose of the other <gasps> one. He has a name. You have the daggers? He no does name. not. <laughs> he has no name. And uh, bu 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 bu. Wait, can I can I do something? Sure. 
I'll cast True Strike and I'll slash Goblin. Wait, I need to show you guys something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Do I have to pause the recording or? No. <laughs> it's decent. I'll send it on Discord. Okay. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> It's hidden! Ooh, it's so cute! <laughs> it's just like Cade. <laughs> she's just, she's looking me directly in the eye. Like, just... Uh-huh. And with that, I'd like you guys to uh, roll a stealth check. Ooh. With this advantage! No. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. You, you, you were saying uh, that you kill... What? What were you using? True, true strike. strike. Yeah. It's an advantage from my attack strike? roll. Alright, go for it. So sixteen plus blah, 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 blah. uh plus Hits. five, so twenty one, it's a one D eight. I don't know, it's a whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's an ex execution. I'll do it double handed. We're not barbarian. <laughs> so, 8 plus 3, 11 points of damage. Yeah, Chop so you just head off. cut him in half. I take the manacles, put it in my bag. <laughs> Here lies no name. And I'm going to put it aside the body and try to put some um, hide it. Uh, nice. Yeah, like hide the body, just uh, cover uh, it. I'm, I'm gonna call back uh, Simat once that's done. And uh, now, now. So uh, for the next part of the journey, we should maybe uh, try to do it stealthily. Okay. So, as was suggested. Stealth. Don't you have something for stealth check tomorrow? Since we're in the forest. I. I. It's more difficult. Wait time. a minute. Is it? Because so. I don't know. Because I have an advantage. I have a. I can double my proficiency in that. But I don't know if it's grouple or just me. But what you said is that you have another feed that uh, people with you in for a string uh, are not affected by difficult terrain and you can move at normal speed when you are stealthy. I don't think you have okay. any advantage or any bonus on stealth check by themselves. Uh, it's only a speed at which but I have a proficiency bonus. Yeah, my for you. Bonus. But it, yeah. it doesn't uh, apply. For, for yeah, Fern and it. Semat, it uh, totally blew Okay. Okay, so. Oh, for okay, me, okay, it's. Okay. So that's 25. Ooh. No, wait a minute. Oh my god. 23, 23. 17. 23. I put some leaves in form. <laughs> <laughs> Be a stealth. I, I have eight as fern. And uh, Simat rolled a natural one. Oh. Minus one. <laughs> so... His stealth check is zero. <laughs> I put some leaves in Semat. <laughs> we 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 have chain mail. We get the disadvantage on rolls for oh, stealth. Okay. 
<laughs> Bring and that up, kid. I Bring got 17. Samurai is actually uh, more stealthy than Cade. Yeah, I got in 10. In the forest. So. For the first time! <laughs> Alright, um... Let me just... Alright, uh... So you guys uh, start after uh, Copper saying that you guys were getting near, getting rid of the goblin and starting to move more uh, stealthily uh, and avoid making sound. You, uh, you get to a point in the forest that like... Um, there's a clearing in the forest and you guys stop just on the edge of it and you can see it's it's not far like the clearing is uh maybe roughly maybe um like 30 feet to uh, a huge castle castle in more like a ruin or uh it um yeah I won't uh, give you guys a visual just yet but um it is not like in good condition it's not ruins but uh, like part, some walls have like collapsed. Most of it is still standing, but like okay. uh, the door, the door seems to be busted, and you kind of arrive at an angle. So like you're seeing maybe the um, uh, the southwest corner, and there's a tower. There's uh, like stairs to to go on like a platform. Uh, you can see at the angle a door, but the door is kind of busted. The the tower that you can see have like part of the wall that is crumbled. Um, do, 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 do there is see? like a, a death trap. I don't know how they are called, but like uh, uh, like small holes. Murder holes. That are you, yeah. Murder holes. Um, if you guys want, want if one of you uh, wants to make a perception check. Yeah, same at will. Yeah. Or if you want to, uh, also tomorrow. Do it, do it. I think Sam will have better perception. So that I do it. You can both do it. Okay. Guidance tomorrow, since I already did rolled. Um, hey. But that brings me to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Something new. I didn't say that number again. 18. Again. Good. 18. Okay. 17. Uh, guidance? At plus guidance. Four. 27. Wow. Hey. I like to be in the, the forest. <laughs> yeah, the forest, the forest really works for you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, apart from like what I already described for the, the castle itself, you notice like movement. 
Like it's not abandoned. You you spot like uh, tracks all around it, like footprints that goes in and out of the forest. Like even footprints on on the deck itself where the door is. And like you you stop for a moment, you check in the the dead trap, and uh, you can you can swear you you see. Uh, like movement in the tower itself and uh like even looking where one of the walls is like kind of collapse for uh on the tower you can see a goblin just walk past part of the hole the par part of the hole going from like the tower to another uh room so yeah you get the feeling that this castle is like littered by goblins and goblin in, and it's a fortress of bad Goblinoid. things. Can I distinguish some uh, humans or uh, something, someone that is talking to them or uh, can I listen if there is just goblins or there is another form of life there? Uh, from your vantage point, that's all you can gather. And I think we're gonna stop here for tonight. Uh-oh. Okay. You, you guys just ar we arrived spotted. at the castle that we've been talking for TPK. Like months and months and months. <laughs> And yeah, that was Next the time, first uh, objective, and we never did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are here now, so mm -hmm. we're gonna have to see how it goes. We're here without the wizard, <laughs> man. No, who yeah. knows? Maybe he's gonna pop out of the forest. Oh, maybe, yes. Next. I hope that. Hey. I hope so. <laughs> I found you guys back. Don't count on it. <laughs> oh. I'll give you all hope. Sure enough. Maybe yeah. someday. It would help to have one. I'm looking at. I, I, I've done the map quite a few months back. <laughs> and I'm looking at it now, and there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> You're going to kill us there, okay. Uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, you guys got some XP. Hey. Oh. Uh, Yay. For killing four goblins? Yay. You get um. one. 10 XP each. Four goblins? No, no. We have like 50 XP each. But we did well. Um, yeah, 50 XP each, but I'll give you guys uh, another 50 for finding the castle. Ooh. So 100 each. Ooh. Ooh. 100? Okay. But where, where are we at now? Ouch. What? How much XP? I got 2,350. Oh. Okay, I'm the same, the same, uh, same spot then. Almost. I thought it didn't update last time I leveled up. No, it did. Uh, how much? How much did you guys still need to level up? Uh, 250. 350, yeah. So after we cleared all the crag maw, we're probably gonna be level four. Please, uh, I need the level. Actually, actually, uh, actually, you you're not also, gonna reach that because you all you can die. And all you can also all get uh, fifty XP or. 
200 XP divided by everyone. So it's 50, right? Yeah. It depends. Do we For, give XP uh, to Copper? Is he gonna fight with us? Does he need to? I don't think so. Oh. And and that's for the fight with Sildar. So 50 more? 50 for each of us? Yeah. Yep. How so much? We're at 2,400. So, to, so tonight, right now, you you got uh, 150. Ooh. Okay. Each. So I gave well, us actually, all 50. For the last two sessions. XP. Because I dual Sildor. Ooh. You can all tank me later. I don't think so, but yeah. Sildar is a challenge one. So yeah, it's he, fine. Uh, he's 200 XP worth. I didn't. Okay. He didn't even uh, like make a scratch on me. So. Wait, did he? <laughs> I think he did. If my favorite enemy would be a goblin, that would be nice, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a dragon, so mm. I don't like, have anything for them. We have goblin and you chose dragon. <laughs> same, same, same fight. Same, same. Mm. Same, same. same I realized that my elf comes uh, from the fey world. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I didn't realize what race I pick up, what kind of elf, and I was really was like, oh, oh. so I'm a fae. Okay, cool. Interesting. You also have proficiency with uh, elf weapons. Yeah. In case you didn't know. I think I think D and division. Elf are weapon. Uh, long sword, short sword, uh, short bow, long bow. She's proficient with those. That's why my damage is 1d6, 1d8? Or not? Oh no, my, my hit is plus 5, plus 5, plus 5 for, for everything. I think it's for that. Pumpkin? Well, Pumpkin. she's hungry now. Watch out. Yeah. Here she comes. Now, it, now it's pretty much the time. All right. How he calls? Pumpkin? Pum what? Pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yeah. Her name is Pumpkin. pumpkin. Like the vegetable. I want to no. cut. No, you don't. <laughs> it's, because, it's because she's orange. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like my fingers. Yep. Ugh. Looks weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not bad. But I think it's all the filter in your camera. Yeah, I've played with the settings of my camera a little bit. I you should I... get that checked out. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's really like the angle. Yeah, I think something you put yep, in your yep. camera. I put in. You put it like a filter, like what do you call it? Any uh, a show. It happens. Well, congrats finding the castle. Yay! 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 Good thing, kept, good thing you kept copper all that time. We're gonna have to get rid of him. Invite no. uh, invite the uh, Fafoon for sure next week. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. he have, have to... to enter with us to the castle. Yeah. Uh. We we should make sure that he he can attend uh, that fight. At least yeah. if his character dies, well, it's going to be his fault, not mine. <laughs> I don't want to kill Copper. I already make some advance with him. I think uh, mm -hmm. he can be a good goblin. <laughs> I'll kill him. <laughs> good goblin, as I know, they're pretty much evil. At the first, I was thinking mm, maybe he's going to, uh, I don't know, uh, talk with this goblin and then just run away or something. But I think we can trust him. Neutral evil. I don't even know. 
Yeah. Who's gonna draw you? Okay. Uh, goblins in general. In general. <laughs> They're neutral uh, evil. We'll see how it goes. Neutral. Maybe, maybe. A little no, no, bit more of bacon and copper combined. Wrapped. Bacon wrapped copper. In cover. Oh. I'm going to try the next time that. <laughs> the copper and then a bacon. <laughs> On it. His, his favorite. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. It was fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Thank you. It was fun. I really like this uh, Tuesdays. Yeah. Tuesday night. See you nights. next time for the big Pragma showdown. Yeah. Her death. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye.